I'm covered by the blood I didn't cry, yes, my Jimmy If you won't want tremble I have found power in the blood I did she moja Jimmy Mommy, what's on you? Yo no 
a ministry for about 11 years. Suddenly, things came to a halt. Have you been there before? That is what happened. It was like in the desert. Everything was so quiet. I didn't know where to turn to. But I want to tell somebody here. Our God is a God of second chances. He's a God of three, four, five chances. It doesn't matter where you find yourself today. I was there before. But I want you to know he gave me a chance. That is why this is called Helena Comeback. Because this year, every nonsense in your life is stopping in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, I can do it. Tell yourself, I can do it. Shut yourself and tell the Lord, I can do it. Tell the Lord, I can do it. Tell yourself, I can do it. Shut yourself and tell the Lord, I can do it. Because you are coming back. Oh, hallelujah. Why should I make
you. May you receive your worship, oh God. We have come just as we are. And we said that, Abba Father, do as you please. We glorify you, oh God. We exalt you, oh God, for what you have done for us this day. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let every soul in this room shout a very big Amen.
clap of your unto God. Amazing God. A God who lives. The one who was. The one who is. And the one who is to come. Give a clap of your once again to him. Hallelujah. For the maker. Today is an awesome day. It's a great day to behold. And we thank God that in his infinite mercy, he has made it possible for us to see such a day. Give another clap of friend unto him. Praise team, can you help me sing this song? It's worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands with one this gift. Praise the Lord. And this morning, we are here to name that gift that has been given and also to dedicate that gift unto the one who giveth. Praise God. In the apostolic church, we do not baptize our kids. Praise the Lord. That is a doctrine. And we take the our uh, Precedence from the Bible. Because when you read the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you hear that Jesus, children were brought to Jesus. And when they brought the children to him, he blessed them. Praise the Lord. Not baptized as a kid, but as an adult. Praise the Lord. We believe that as the Bible says for baptism, you have to accept the faith 
and profess and be ready to run with it. That is when you are baptized into it. So in the apostolic church, we dedicate children. Praise the Lord. Naming is very, very important and very crucial in the life of every individual. And naming started right from the day of creation. When you read the Bible in Genesis, you hear that the Bible says that when God created everything, he created man. And when man was brought into the scene, he gave him the power and the authority to name the things that have been created. Names are very, very important. They are very significant. Every one of us sitting here has a name. Why? For identification. Praise God for identification. Names are able to tell who you are, where you come from, and most importantly, sometimes what you will be. That is why it is very, very important that before you name a child or anything, you have to be very careful what name you are giving. Because that name can have implications. Praise God. And I believe today, the name that has been given has a very good implication. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Baby dedication. I'm doing two things in one. So I'll talk about it and then we'll get on, uh, to the stage and we'll conclude everything. Baby dedication, as I said, in the Apostolic Church, we dedicate kids. And this also started in the Bible. We know that when Jesus was born, our Savior Jesus, when he was born, the Bible says that after he was weaned, he was brought to the church to be presented, and in other words, to be dedicated unto God. Or someone will say that, oh, that happened in the New Testament. But when you go in the Old Testament, you will see in there that the greatest prophet of all time, Samuel, when he was born, the Bible says that he was also brought to the house of God to be dedicated to God, to serve God all the days of his life. Because we believe that children, as I said, is a gift that has been given unto us. So when you receive that gift, it is right for you to also present that gift back to the giver. Say, thank you, Papa. You gave him unto me. And so take hold of him and protect him, guide him, walk with him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is exactly what we are about to do today. Comment on us as parents that when we bring, give birth, we train them, we teach them, we give them what we have that when they grow, they will be even better than us. Hallelujah! I always say that as a parent, if you give birth and in the course of training your child, you do not impact your faith that you believe in unto your children, then you are a wicked parent. Yeah. Because if it's something that you know it's good, and you believe in it, and you have accepted and working in it, and you do not impact it onto your children, then it means you do not uh, seek the welfare and the good of your child. And as a parent, we need to make sure that we are beginning the training and instilling this faith in them the community, praise the Lord, the environment. That is why you and I are here today to witness and also to be part of this naming and dedication. So child of God, being here, you also have a responsibility, hallelujah, in the training of this child. Amen. Amen. Can you please pass me my phone? Thank you. I'm going to call the family. Godfather, Godmother, 
grandparents, parents, and the baby to come forward as we proceed with the naming and dedication. So you know, I am the Godfather. Amen. Give a clap of your to God. Amen. And our own Auntie Vivian is the Godmother. Give a clap of your to God. Amen. So as authorized by God and Nana Benyi John Fia and Portia Ketaba Arthur, I hereby name you Joseph Arthur Adansia John Fia. It did it also. Hallelujah. I am repeating the name again. Joseph Arthur Adansia. John Fia. Joseph Arthur Adansia John Fia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> From this time onwards. When you see this bouncing baby boy, he has a name. And the name is Joseph Arthur Adansia John Fia. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to dedicate the baby now. And as I said, it takes a community to raise up a child. Hallelujah. Amen. Just as the parents has a responsibility you also have a responsibility. So congregation, I'm going to ask you to repeat this after me. Amen. Kitaba Arthur. And Portia Kitaba Arthur. To 
To raise this child to become a Christian. To raise this child to become a Christian. We promise to hold parents accountable. We promise to hold parents accountable. For raising this child in God's way. For raising this child in God's way. Amen. Amen. And now I'll ask a parent to repeat after me. In the sight of God and this witnesses. In the sight of God and these witnesses. We promise to raise this child according to God's holy word. And with love. We promise to train this child up in discipline. So that we he will grow. So that when he grows, he will not depart from it. Amen. Now I'm going to make this pronouncement. This is the dedication. Whereas Nana Benyi John Fia and Portia Ketaba Atha have obeyed God's word and desire to give this child to God and whereas all assembled here have vowed their support to the parents Therefore, in the sight of God and all these witnesses, I hereby dedicate you, Joseph, Arthur, John, Adansia, John Fear, and your life to the Lord, God Most High, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, beloved, I will ask you to praise God. Now, I will ask you to stretch forth your hands and pray for the child and for the parents. Hallelujah. Amen. This is very important. What we are doing is very spiritual, and we need the presence. We need God to walk with them and with the child. So please stretch off your hands and begin to pray. Pray that indeed the vow that these parents have made and you yourself has also made, indeed the Lord will grant you the grace that indeed you will see to the training of this child and his upbringing in the name of God, in the way of God, that you will grow to become what God intends for him to be. Pray that God will grant them the resources Everything that they will need, everything that they will need to bring this child up in the way of God, everything that they will need, that this child will be a name that is mentioned whenever men of prominence are being mentioned. Pray that indeed the Lord will carry this child on his eagle feathers. <laughs> Jesus, I thank you and I bless you for this wonderful thing that we are seeing today. Father, from the time of creation, you had already ordained and purported that this will happen today. And so we give you praise and we give you honor. Lord God Almighty, I commend the spirits into your hands and all gathered here as witnesses of God. We pray for grace in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, said we will do in the upbringing of this kid, oh God, we will receive the grace to accomplish it in the name of Jesus. Oh, and now Joseph Arthur and then Sir John Fear, I pray in the name of Jesus, I commend you into the hands of the one who is able to keep in the name of Jesus. Yes, when they are looking for men of prominence, your name will be mentioned. When they are looking when they are made good for men of authority, your name will be mentioned. And today I pray that as you are being dedicated unto this God, oh, may this God be your banner. May this God be your shield. May you will do. May this God never forsake you. Joseph Arthur, a dance here, John Fear. 
I speak the name Jesus over your life. over your life. And now Joseph, Arthur, I dance here, don't fear. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of God of Jacob protect you. And may he remember all your sacrifices and accept your offerings. May he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. If you and your children May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. May you be blessed in the sea and be blessed in the country. May you be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. May the Lord grant that the enemies who rise up against you be defeated before you. Even though they come out and they come at you from one direction. May they flee from you in seven directions. May the Lord grant you abundant prosperity. May the Lord open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send you showers of blessings, to bless all the work of your hands. The Lord make you the head and not the tail. May you always be at the top and never at the bottom. all your skills. May this God be pleased with the works of your hands. Oh, may this God smite the lions of those who rise up against you. And may he strike your foes till you rise above them. Above all, may the Lord bless you and keep you Joseph, Arthur, Adansia, John Fair. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give a clap of freedom to God. We thank God. Now please stand around. Stand around. And today I present to you
we said, this offering is the establishment for John, Joseph, Arthur, Adansia, John Fear. He didn't have me the power. The names with me, pa. Hallelujah. So we are going to call on um, Lady Rebecca Abuaje and then the parents to come up stage as we do the presentation. We thank God for how far he has brought us and we thank God for this beautiful and handsome gift that he has blessed this family with. Um, Portia and Nanabini, this is a little token that your friends, your family, you know, your loved ones have put together to give it to you to open an account for our little boy. It is not for you. In two years' time, we are going to call you to give an account what you use that money for. So please, don't go and shop for yourself. It's for my son. So we present this beautiful gift to you. It's very heavy. When you go home and you open it, you see that we are rich people here gathered here this morning. So we present this gift to you for our little boy, Joseph, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for what he has done for us. We thank the Lord for the baby. We thank the Lord for your lives also. All we can say is God will you bless you. Wherever you took this money, this gift, whichever thing have, it's our prayer that the Lord God Almighty uh, replenishes it and give it back to you in thousands and million folds. Amen. 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 respectively and I love it I love it I love it I love it are we ready to listen to the word of God are we ready to listen to the word of God this is I would say the main reason why we are here today besides the baby dedication but without further ado let us with a round of applause because we know we are not going to be seeing him again in this auditorium for a, for a long time let us give our presiding elder and his wife a round of applause. Our pastor, associate pastor, being transferred to New York. This is the last week he's going to be here. Our farewell service is going to be done here exactly in this auditorium next week. Next week, Sunday, May 28th. So just, just keep in mind. Uh, but before I, I make our other come on, come on the podium, there is a red card. To Let's introduce, let me introduce the presiding elder, soon to be associate pastor in New York Bronx. Hello there, Rich Man Abuaje. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, this gentleman, I know his energy is too much. Amen. <laughs> but it's good. This energy in the house of God is great and amazing. And I love it. Amen. Yes. Greatest.
to the back, there is something set up nicely for us.
And so in that view, in that vein, and without much ado, yes, God mother. <laughs>
Shut yourself up and tell 